If you and your family are fans of me, you can get a custom video from me through Patreon. I just said me 78 times. Check the comments for a link. And finish. Uh, how do I look? Absolutely ridiculous. What? Come to think of it, I think Steve put the carrot in the wrong spot. You look like a unicorn. Steve, come on. It's just like doing a Mr. Potato Head. Uh, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but uh, when I was a kid, my family couldn't afford a Mr. Potato Head, so they got me a real head instead. I'm uh, gonna go turn myself in to the police. Anyway, I figured since we were gonna learn about blizzards that I should probably dress the part. So I dressed up as... A unicorn? No, a snowman. Wait a second. Did you just say blizzards? Isn't it blizzards? Yeah. Well, ever since we visited France in our Eiffel Tower video, I've been practicing my Francais. Ooh. Well, that's how you say French in French. I picked up on that. What? Just a random question. What do the French call French onion soup? Good question. I'm gonna say... Soup. No. You sure about that? No, not at all. The extent of my French knowledge is kinda limited to blizzards. What? You wanna learn about those? Sure, why not? Well, let's start with what they even are. A blizzard is a storm with strong winds and low visibility that is often accompanied by intense cold and heavy snow. Although it's similar to your average snowstorm, the main difference is the wind. As the National Weather Service states that in order for a snowstorm to be a blizzard, it must have wind reaching at least 35 miles per hour, have low visibility for a quarter mile or less, and it must last for at least three hours. While blizzards often have low temperatures and heavy snow, it isn't a requirement for these storms to have snow or low temperatures to actually be labeled as a blizzard. A blizzard's wind can reach speeds up to 120 miles per hour. What? That's faster than a cheetah. Oh, it's getting a little chilly in here. Any chance you can get my arms out of these things? What do you mean? They're already out. Andy, those are tiny little twigs. They're not my arms. Huh, I didn't notice a difference. Anyway, I'll make you a deal. I'll free your arms if you tell me more about blizzards. Blizzards. Whatever. All right, deal. You drive a hard bargain. No, I don't. I drive a Ford Taurus. Oh, my aunt drives a Taurus. Every single time she starts it, it goes, My baby takes the morning train. He works from nine to five and then he takes another home again to find me waiting for him. I'll, uh, go back to the police station. So, tell me, how do blizzards form? Well, I'll tell you. With blizzards often comes snow. So, let's break down how that starts. It all comes down to the water cycle. Heat from the sun causes water to evaporate. This means that liquid water turns into water vapor, or gas. That gas rises up, and if it gets cold enough, it turns back into water droplets and becomes a cloud. When these droplets collect more water, they fall as rain. And at temperatures between negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the water droplets can crystallize. Then, when enough crystals stick together, they form snowflakes and fall to the ground. Whoa. But blizzards are a bit more than just snow. We also need strong winds. For that to happen, warm air from the equator will mix with cold air from the Arctic. Wind forms when warm air rises over the cold air. And the faster the warm air rises over the cold air, the stronger the wind becomes. Another type of winter storm is called a ground blizzard. This is when strong winds that can reach up to 60 miles per hour lift up snow that's already on the ground, making it impossible to see. There are also nor'easter blizzards, which happen in the northeast of the United States, and lake effect blizzards, which often occur around America's Great Lakes. With freezing cold temperatures and extremely high snow drifts, blizzards can be incredibly dangerous. They can even cause a whiteout, or when you can't tell the difference between the ground and the open air due to the wind blowing about the snow. Blizzards are estimated to cause over $1 billion in damages each year. The worst blizzard in recorded history is documented in my book, Record-Breaking Natural Disasters. It occurred in 1972 
in Iran, and it killed over 4,000 people. During the storm, the citizens of Iran experienced extremely low temperatures for the area that lasted for about a week. They also saw some areas receive nearly 10 feet of snow, with the worst areas receiving about 26 feet of snow. What? That's nearly as tall as a telephone pole. The blizzard came after four years of a drought, a time when an area experiences little to no rain. There was also the Great Blizzard of 1888, which occurred between March 11th and March 14th. This blizzard extended all the way from the American states of Maine to Maryland and created snowdrifts that were up to 50 feet high. To learn more about these storms, check out Mr. DeMeo's book at the link in the description box. All right, Andy, it's starting to snow pretty hard. I think you better get me out of here. The idea of being stuck in 50 foot snow sounds horrible. Yeah. 50 feet high, eh? Be a shame if that kind of snow fell here. Oh no, I don't like that look. Don't you get any ideas? Now hurry up and get me out of here. One sec, let me just go grab my shut. Hey, has anyone seen my shovel? No. Ice pick? No. Flamethrower? No, why? Just get me out of here. The thing is, I need all of them to get you out. So, let me run to the hardware store and I'll get the tools and be right back. Fine, just hurry up. Three hours later. Uh oh, Mr. DeMeo, wave your arm if you're still in there. That's it, folks. He's a goner. I guess the only sensible thing to do is honor his memory in a respectful manner, the way he would have wanted. So people remember him as the knowledgeable, fun-loving, respectable human we've all grown to love. Five days later. Step right up, folks. Straight from the Antarctic. I give to you the last living unicorn. Hey guys, did any of you see the super secret hidden coupon code in this video? Try to find it. It's blue and has a hashtag symbol before it. If you do find it, you can use it to get money off of my cool shirts and pillows and stuff. Christmas and the holidays are around the corner, so get your great grandpapa a shirt with my face on it. Please. Anyway, let's get to the awesome patrons on Patreon. They're the best, and they got to see this video before anyone else. Especially Benjamin M, Callum G, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, The Puffin Boys, Sam and Eddie from London, Darwin, not that one, Connor and Emma B, Rebecca Beanie, Gracie, Mama and Diddums, Charlie Stone, Jasper Soros Rex, The Gowdy Bros and Mabsy, Jackson Bear Welch, Charles and Olivia, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Gavin Meidel, John Arthur, Vincent Petty, Xavier Freeze, Stephen McPhee, Jordana and Aaron, GC, Sammy Osif, Burning Wick, Harper Benson, Kellen, his mom Rachel, and his pup Link, Asher Evans, Evan Lee, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Ben and Ollie, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy, and Pepper, Elias Mark Turner, Erickson and Alexander L, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Liam and Evelina, JJ Schmidt, Lucas Willette and family, Zyla, Lava Liam, Virginia and Harrison Way, Chris the Megalodon, Connor Higgins, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney and Brian, Kuchan115, Olin, Connor, LeCoke, and family, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Max C, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Millie Fennel, Henry Pavelko, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Silas M, Jack Hartzler, Wesley C, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Toothless and Light Fury, Noah Whitman, Laser Rosen, Jakey Jake, Max from South All, Ada S, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Philip and Anna Buckley, Madison Hard, Jaden, Danny, and Beeks, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Max and Kaz, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher Crawford, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Oshi, Sam B, and his mom from Tennessee, Creative Devin and Zach T, Luke Raposa, Christopher F, Maddie and James, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Victor B from Canada, Julian, Jackson, and Jacob, Daisy, the Ravad Boys, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Dominic McAvee, Riker Smith, Zane and Asher Davis, 
and Alexander, Julian, and David. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, we have lots of cool stuff. You can see my videos early, see behind the scenes pics, help me pick my next topic, get your name in a video, and more. As always, check the description box for a link. Thanks for watching, guys.